Hello there Brickheads! Welcome back to Cube Brick for your fresh new dose of LEGO castle making with the 6th episode of the Falcon's Nest building series. It's been a hard time since the last episode aired because besides the usual real life stuff I got sick for a few days so I wasn't able to work on the mock as much as I would like to but I think I managed to make a lot of great progress either way. After finishing the foundation last time now the building process is coming along way smoother and most importantly it's looking better with every brick added so I think you're going to really enjoy this update and how the fortress is looking at the moment. But don't take my word for it and check it out for yourself. But before we dive into the episode go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome lego builds that are surely coming in the future. Ok so now with all that said let's get this episode started right now. And first things first I lied to you guys. I lied but I don't regret it. Bruh. I said in the previous episode that I will jump straight on to making the interior walls and the courtyard floor, but things went the other way around. I started in fact by continuing with the walls we were building last time and I moved them up to the desired height. I'm not saying I won't do the courtyard floor in this update, but we'll talk about that in a later part of the video. First I made the front facing wall and the corner next to it, going all the way from the tower placeholder to the gatehouse, raising it by 10 plates and of course finishing up with the crenellation I showed you last time. And with that done, I started making the gatehouse. I was purely freestyling at this point because all I had in mind was to have some sort of a window or an arrow slit in the middle and eventually I decided to go with a classic cross shaped window. Then when I showed it to my buddy Edge of Bricks he pointed out that it's a bit empty here so I remade it with a shield over the gate to add some flavor to it. And it was all going great until I realized that it's way too small for the portcullis to fit properly underneath the window so I had to rebuild it yet again to get it to the proper height. This changes my concept of the gatehouse a bit because I wanted the mechanism to be on the outside with the tower here not covered at all but I think this this could actually go better than I planned. I will make the gate mechanism hidden in the partly covered gatehouse and then make the battlements even higher on the top which will cause the fortress to look even more intimidating for attackers. But this part I will make later on because now I just wanted to finish the regular walls so I completed the small section on the left and moved on to the other side of the fortress. For now I'm leaving the tower untouched because from this point it will be a separate removable section so I will worry about it later and I just moved on to the right side wall. And making it was pure pleasure as always, just randomly putting it together piece by piece using masonry and regular bricks, plates, ingots, well you know the drill. And this way the right side was completed. Uh, wait a minute, I seem to be forgetting something here. But it's nothing that a little magic won't fix, so bibbidi babidi booyah and we are now all set with the outer walls. So with that out of the way, we can move on to the back side of the mock, which if you can remember will be an open cross section so that we can see what is actually happening on the inside of the fortress. But to do that I need a couple more parts to finally be done with the rock work so let's first check out the small hole I just got. No surprise here cause it's mostly grey parts in this pack but all of them will be very useful. So we have some regular 1x2 bricks, some Technic 1x1 bricks I will use instead of regular ones because they were cheaper, bunch of 2 bricks high slopes and some snot bricks, a small bag of jumpers, some much needed arches to use later on and a bunch of small plates I started running low on. As for these two bricks they will of course not be used here but I always wanted some adventurers team mock so I think it's time to start gathering some printed pieces from that team. Especially that we have a great comeback from the Indiana Jones sets on the horizon. So to sum up, not the biggest order I made but for sure some much needed parts and now I can finally move on to the backside of the mock. 
And boy that was fast. Well, not actually, because it took a few hours, but I was able to finally finish the rocks as well as the back walls going all the way to the top, and even extending them by one brick so that the crenellations would be evenly spread on both sides. After that I covered the floor with grey plates for the tiles under layer and I even adjusted the surroundings of the tower with some panels so that there will be no gaps visible when I finish the floor. Now with that done it was time to make the cross section wall look reasonable so I decided to go with dark cheese slopes representing the gravel inside of the walls. As planned the walls are 4 studs thick so 2 for the actual bricks and 2 for the gravel inside and I have to admit that this looks more than enough with some of the slopes laid flat on the ground and some angled using some hinges and snot bricks. Nothing more I can ask for here so let's skip to the first inside wall and here is where it gets interesting because it's time to incorporate the first lights in the mall. This time I decided to go with a simple design for the torches with a small light placed under the flame part that will be spread all around the courtyard. I think 3 or 4 should be enough. By the way, if you would like to start using some lights in your mocks but you don't know where to start, check out the link in the description below to get your own light kit from Light Tailing and be sure to use the code CUBE10 for 10% off your order. But anyway, back to what's more important. With the lights shining bright and the wall taking shape, I guess it's time to make the gatehouse what it's supposed to be. So first, I came up with this simple yet very nice looking door design that I want to place inside of the corridor and I also started to make the inside walls of the gatehouse. This was again a lot of going back and forth because I had a pretty big struggle with placing the door hinges but after all that I can be really happy with the design I got. The doors are of course fixed in place because the scene will have the army marching out of the fortress but of course I had to put all the necessary details here, right? And with this part done to a pretty moderate level and the walls roughly outlined all around, the last thing I wanted to do for this update is tiling the courtyard floor, so let's go ahead and quickly do that and then we'll check out the whole progress I've made so far. Okay, the floor is mostly done besides the part where I'll make the stairs with the same technique as the sample part of the bridge you saw a couple episodes back using a various selection of tiles and plates just randomly scattered all around the surface and I think it looks very good. I of course had to plan out the studs for the soldiers to stand on because I will have a squad of armored knights standing here but other than that I think it's a fair ratio of tiles and studs on the floor. The covering of tiles with panels from the tower also looks pretty decent but I still have a few gaps to cover up when I will continue with the walls and also I'll have to replace the dark grey panels with light ones when I'll make my next order. Now the next step will be finishing the inner walls with torches, a set of stairs and some random details and then of course the base structure of the tower. So that is roughly what you can expect to see in the next episode, as long as I don't start jumping all around the mock again and making something else. I have to admit that even though I didn't spend so much time on the build as I would like to, it is still looking great. The walls are standing tall, the gatehouse is let's say 70% done and the courtyard is starting to look like a proper interior instead of just pile of colorful bricks. So what will happen now is I'm getting back to building this beauty and you're going down to the comment section below to let me know how do you like today's progress. We are slowly getting closer to the end so I'm guessing about 2 more episodes left but for now it's time to wrap this up so I will see you in the next video and until then just keep it bricking.